Good morning. Well, we made it one whole week of learning from home. I hope it's going well for you. If there's anything you think you could do better, maybe I'm forgetting something, um, let, you, let me know. Have your parents send me a message, make me a video, put it on Blooms. Um, just let me know how I can help you. I hope it's going well. I hope you're all able to participate. I hope this is really keeping you in the groove so that when we get back, we'll pick up right where we left off. So let's get started with the date. Today is, well, yesterday was Thursday, so today is Friday. Tomorrow will be Saturday. Yesterday was the 19th, so today is the 20th. Tomorrow will be the 21st. That's the first day of spring. That's exciting. All together, the date is? March 20th, 2020. It's Friday. The short form of the day is 3-20-20. Remember to write your date on any of the work that you do, okay? All right. Let's get started with some counting. Here we go. I'm going to hold this here for you like we've been doing. Pause the video now and count to 100 on your own. Start at 1 and count to 100. Pause now. Okay, here we go. We're going to count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And by fives, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Let's count by twos. Uh, I'll count with you till tw to up to 20, and then it's all, it's all you, okay? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Okay, count by twos from twenty on all the way to a hundred. Pause now. Great job. All right, so yesterday we had been in school for a hundred and thirty three days. How many days have we been in school today? Well, we add one more to our ones place, right? Now we have four in our ones place, so we'll take that three off and put a four. We still have a group of 100. Still have three groups of 10, but now we have four ones. So our total now is 134. We've been in school for 134 days. All right. Ready for math, Jar? All right, let's see. Should we do three digit? I think we should do three digit. Let's see. Okay, there it is. Get your paper and pencil out. Write the problem and pause the video. Go ahead and do that now. Pause the video. Get your paper. Write the, write, write the equation. Okay. Let's solve this thing. We have 422 plus 200 and 45. So we're adding, right? That's our operation. Remember that word? Our operation is whatever we're doing. If we're adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, our operation is what we're doing. We are adding. Okay. We always start where? In the ones place, of course. So let's add, put the big number in our head and count on. Five, six, seven. Five plus two is seven. So we put it here in the ones place. Then we can move. We don't have, look, we don't have anything to, to carry over to the tens place, do we? It's just seven. It's not a teen number, so we don't have to carry a one over. Okay? So let's count up the number in the tens place. We have a four and a two. You should know that pretty easy, right, if you've been practice on, practicing on your extra math? I hope you have. Four and two more is six. That's right. Okay, still we don't have anything to carry over. It's just a single six, so we just put a six there. We don't need a one. 
carried over, okay? Now we'll move to the hundreds place and add those up. We already did this equation, didn't we? Four and two, same numbers are here, four and two. So those equal what? Six. Very good, our answer is 667. If you don't have that answer, go ahead and fix it now. No problem, take your time. Okay, great job on that. Let's go do some phonics. Okay, monkeys, are you ready? It's time for phonics. What's the first thing we do? We tap out words. Are you ready for the first word? The first word is screen. What's the word? Screen. Fingers up. S -k -er -e -n. Screen. How many sounds? Five sounds. Arm sweep it. S -k -er -e Mm, screen. Very good. The next word is fail. What's the word? Fail. Fingers up. F A O. Fail. How many sounds? Three sounds. Arm sweep it. F A O. Fail. Very good. The next word is triad. What's the word? Triad. Fingers up. Er, I, A, D. Triad. How many sounds? Five sounds. Arm sweep it. T, er, I, A, D. Triad. Very good. The next word is basic. What's the word? Basic. Fingers up. B, A, S, I. Basic. How many sounds? Five sounds. Arm sweep it. B. A. S. I. K. Basic. Very good. 
The next word is turtle. What's the word? Turtle. Fingers up. T. Er. T. O. Turtle. How many sounds? Four sounds. Arm sweep it. T. Er. T. O. Turtle. Very good. All right. Let's work on some letter names and sounds. I realized the other day that I'm missing a few sounds without you there to help me remind me all the sounds. Like with um, C, I know I've been forgetting the, that it makes the soft C sound as well, S right? So I'll try to remember, I'll do my best. Okay, here we go. I says it or I. U says a uh or you. R says er. D says d. G says g, Z says z, F says th, L says o, M says m, H says h, E says e or e, S says s, W says w. P says p. O says a uh, or o. T says k. What? T says what? <laughs> I'm trying not to forget that C sound, so I was thinking C. I'm sorry. T says t. <laughs> J says j. V says v. X says X. A says A or A. There it is. C says K or S. K says K. N says N. B says B. Y says Y or E or I. Good job. Okay, let's go to digraphs. Hopefully I don't get any wrong this time. Jeez, what? I, it's so hard for me without you there to help me. Okay, here we go. Qua. G. Mm. Mm. Ed, D, or T. Great job. On to vowel teams and R control vowels and variant vowels. Here we go. E or I. A. Ow or O. Ow or U. R A U or U Er Oi I E O or A A E A I Er Oi U or U A A Er U or U E E A Er Oh, all right, good.
Good job. Let's do some popcorn words. I'll mix these up. And we'll do half the stack, okay? All right, let's see. Here we go. Came. Here. Four. Are. Eight. Your. So. Up. Just. Over. Now. Will. Where. Very. By. Is. Said. Go. Little. We. Out. That. There. Into. Away. Down. Who. When. Look. Saw. She. My. Soon. One. Walk. Show. You. Come. Help. A. Play. He. Me. Make. They. Ask. Some. Them. And like. Great job. Okay. So we're going to go to do our smart board stuff. What we would normally do on the smart board. I know that yesterday my screen didn't record. Um, it kind of cuts stuff off. So um, I'm really sorry for that. But I'm going to fix it today. It won't happen again. Um, I'll make sure that it's not cut off. I will make sure you can see the whole screen, okay? So get ready. Let's go to the smart board. Uh, my computer to record the whole screen, so sorry, but you're going to see all of this stuff here in the top and the side, but it should be able to, you should be able to see the whole, the whole page. Hopefully it's not cutting anything off. Okay, let's get started. P o a play P o a n d er plunder P o a n k plank is that a word? Doesn't sound like a word. Let's try the long vowel sound for that A, okay? The long A sound. P, O, A, N, K, plank. That makes sense. That's a word. So remember, sometimes if we, if we read a word the way it's spelled and it doesn't sound like a word you know, it doesn't sound right, try it differently, okay? Here we go. Eh. Ch, fetch, ha, it, oh, it, ch, hitch. The T C H is a trigraph. It's all together, right? We say it all together. S, t, i, ch, stitch, p, a. N d er pander s t a n s stains s t a ing stain. Good job. All right, think about this word. Sound it out in your head, or you can sound it out loud, actually, because you're the only one around. So, sound it out. Play. Very good. Sound it out. Plunder. Good job. We're 
pink. Plank. Think. Fetch. Think. Hitch. Think. Stitch. Think. Pander. Think. Stains. Think. Staying. Very good. All right. We've read these words. We've sounded them out. You know them, so let's read them nice and quick. Here we go. Play. Plunder. Plank. Fetch. Hitch. Stitch. Pander. Stains. Staying. Very good. Let's read these words in some sentences. He had to get, think about this word. We read part of it already. Stitches. Oh, look, it's spelled incorrectly. Stitches in his, think about this one, head. He had to get stitches in his head. He had to get stitches in his head. All right, let's swoop this sentence. Here we go. He had to get stitches in his head. He had to get stitches in his head. He had to get stitches in his head. Good job. All right. Ready for the next one. I, think about this word, Cook my, think, fish on a, think about this one, we've already read it, plank of, think about this one, wood. I cook my fish on a plank of wood. I cook my fish on a plank of wood. All right, let's swoop it. Here we go. I cook my fish on a plank of wood. I cook my fish on a plank of, on a plank of wood. One more time. I cook my fish on a plank of wood. Very good. Let's move on to phonics journals. All right, do you have pencil and paper out? Is your date written? All right, let's get to work. I'll give you the first, I'll give you the sound. You write the letter or letters for the sound. Okay, here we go. First sound is The next sound is a vowel team, two vowels. Okay, it says ow, ow. What two letters say ow? The next sound is mm. And the last sound is d. Got it? Okay, sound it out. What's the word? Found, good job, okay. 
let's do it together. I said the first sound was f. What letter is that? F. Good job. I said the next sound is two letters, a vowel team, and they say ow. What two letters say ow? It can't be O-W because I said it's two vowels, right? And W is not a vowel. So it's O-U. Good job. The next sound was N. That's an N. And the last sound was D. D. Good job. Make sure you've got a D there and not a B or else it's found. That's not a word. We want the word to be found. Good job. The next word, it, or the next sound is, go right below, found. Ready? I'll give you the blend for the first two letters, okay? Cull. Cull. Write the two letters that say cull. The next sound is ah. The next sound is And the last sound is p. Okay, got it all written, I'll sound it out. What's the word? Clasp. Clasp, good job. Okay, let's write it together. I said the first two letters were col, col. You know it has to be a C, right? Because there is no KL blend, right? Okay, C-L, I said the next sound was A, ah. that's easy, short A, the next sound is S, and the last sound was P, clasp, very good. Okay, go below the word clasp, ready for the first sound? Okay, the next sound is one letter. I, just one letter. And the last sound is, that doesn't mean it's the last letter, the last sound is D. You might need another letter at the end. Think about that. What does the I say? Okay. Think about the word, sound it out. What's the word? Bride, very good. Let's do it together. I said b, er, I, and I said it was one letter, right? D. Are we missing something? Yes, we need a bossy E to make the I say I. Bride. Make sure you have your B's and D's correct if you don't fix it now. Because if you put a B here, then the word is bribe. That's a completely different word. Okay? On to the next side. Are you ready? Now I'm going to give you the word. And you're going to write it all out. We're going to tap it out, then you write it, and then we'll do it together. Okay? The word is stamp. What's the word? Stamp. Tap it out. St. A. M. P. Stamp. Five sounds, okay? Go ahead and write the word. St. A. M. P. All right. Let's check it out. I first heard st. Then I heard t. Then I heard a. Then m. And lastly, p. Stamp. Let's see, we said it had five sounds, right? S. T. A. M. Stamp. That's correct. Good job. Okay.
below the word stem. Ready? The word is chimp. Chimp. Let's tap it out. Here we go. Ch. I. N. P. Chimp. How many sounds? Four sounds. Go ahead and write it. Okay, ready? The word chimp. I hear ch for the first sound, right? What two letters say ch? C-H, correct. I heard I. What letter says I? Short I. I hear N. And I hear Great job. Chimp. Let's check it. The first sound was ch. Good. CH says ch. The next sound was i. I says i. Then m. Then p. Chimp. Very, very good. Okay. The next word below the word chimp. Ready? The word is tool. Tool. What's the word? Tool. Okay, fingers up. T. Ooh. Oh. Tool. Only three sounds. Tool. Go ahead and write it. Okay, let's do it together. The first sound is T. Good. The next sound is Ooh. What says Ooh? Or uh. Mm. You know this one. O O. T. U. O. Tool. Great job. Let's check it. T. U. O. Tool. Great job. Okay. Let's write our sentence, okay? I'll give you the sentence, you write it, and then we'll do it together, okay? A chimp can use tools. Let's count the words. A chimp can use tools. Five words. Make sure when you're done with your sentence, you have five words. Don't forget what you need at the beginning. Don't forget what you need at the end. Don't forget finger spaces, okay? A chimp can use tools. Go ahead. Pause the video now while you write it, okay? Pause it now. All right, let's do this together. Here we go. The first word was A, and it's at the beginning of the sentence, right? So what do we need to do? That's right, capital A. And we start all the way to the left. Very good. A. We've already wrote the, written the next word over here. The next word was chimp. Which one is chimp? Well, it's the one that starts with ch, right? There it is. We just gotta put it in our sentence, okay? Chimp. A chimp, what was the next word? Can. That's an easy one, right? Let's sound it out as we write it. K, a, n, can. Good job. A chimp can use. Use is a popcorn word. So you should know it, okay? I'll help you with it if you forgot. It's not, it does not start with a Y, okay? It's U S E. Use. A chimp can use. What was the last word? Tools. Good. We've already written the word tool, right? So we're just going to add what to the end of tool? An S. Good. Let's do it. T. U. O. S. Tools. And a period is perfect right there. A chimp can use tools. A chimp can use tools. A chimp can use tools. A chimp 
can use tools. Great work. If you need to fix anything, pause the video, fix it now. Make sure it's all correct. Make sure you've dated your paper, okay? Put the short form of the date on there, 3-20-20, okay? Great job with phonics today, guys. Let's read a story, shall we? All right, I've got a great book for us today called Cat vs. Dog. On the back it says, one dog, one cat, one room, one big problem. Uh-oh. I thought this would be a really great book since we seem to be all cooped up at home, sharing the same space with our brothers and sisters, moms and dads. It can get a little bit rough, right? So let's read and see how the story goes for Dog versus Cat. Dog versus Cat by Chris Gall. One day, a man named Mr. Button went to the animal shelter to pick out a friendly looking dog. Then he brought the dog home. Across town, on that very same day, Mrs. Button went to the pet store and bought a smart looking cat. Then she brought the cat home. Oh, he doesn't look very friendly. <laughs> However, the Buttons only had one room for their pets. They would have to share. This could have been a dangerous situation, but Dog and Cat wanted to be very grown up. And so Dog and Cat moved in together. Dog quickly arranged one side of the room. Cat did the same thing with the other side. Look at their rooms. What do you notice about dog and what do you notice about cat? Dog's room is messy. And cat's room is really organized. They seem like very different personalities, right? Let's see how it goes living together. Dog gave Cat a warm greeting, but Cat didn't like Shower's look. He drooled, drooled all over Cat. Cat offered Dog a mouse warming present. Mouse? Gross. Dog showed Cat how to chase a tail. She's not impressed. She says, you've got to be kidding me. Cat showed Dog how to curl up with a good book. I don't think Dog is very interested in reading books, is he? Their habits were very different. Dog liked to keep in touch with friends all day long. Cat liked to play games all night long. There were more problems. Dog was always sniffing everything. Cat would claw anything that moved. And then there was the litter box issue. That was when they decided to mark their territories. Uh-oh. But neither dog nor cat was satisfied. One of them had to go. Uh -oh. Cat knew that dog had a very good nose, so cat made sure to maintain horrible garlic breath. Dog rug rubbed some party balloons on the rug and stuck them to the cat. Cat popped them with sharp claws, nearly giving Dog a heart attack. Cat filled Dog's water bowl with his hairballs. <laughs> Dog poured the water over Cat's head during nap time. It was too much to take. They're driving each other crazy. Each pet was determined to get the other in trouble. Cat used silent, a silent dog whistle to make dog howl in the middle of the night. 
Dog spread catnip over Mrs. Button's nice pillows so that cat would go crazy. That was when the Buttons gave dog and cat a time out. Since they could agree on nothing else, dog and cat decided to build a wall to separate their room. After they were finished, the room became very quiet. Too quiet. Soon, Dog began to remember all the good times they'd had together. And Cat began to remember all the fun times, too. Look at all their fun times. They began to miss each other, so Cat sent over a peace offering. Dog replied. They're throwing notes over the wall. They set out to solve the problem in different ways. Then one day, Dog and Cat heard a strange howling outside their door. Another pet! They could not believe that Mr. and Mrs. Button would wish for a pet any better than Dog and Cat. What could it be? Dog hoped it wasn't a porcupine. Cat hoped it wasn't an elephant. Dog and Cat were afraid. They agreed that something had to be done to keep the creature out of their room. Cat drew up plans to block the door. Dog tore down their wall and used the pieces. But they forgot that the door opened into the hallway. Then Mr. and Mrs. Button brought in the cage. It was the most terrifying creature Dog and Cat had ever seen. And it had moved into their bedroom. The creature never seemed to stop screeching, and it f certainly couldn't use a litter box. So Dog and Cat decided to move out. <laughs> what kind of creature is that? A baby. But they knew of only one other available room. Cat drew up the plants, Dog hammered nails, and lifted the heavy things. Cat's saying, the circumference equals the sum of the adjacent sides. He's so smart. I'm sorry, but all I'm hearing is a bunch of meows, says Dog. <laughs> and when they were done, they shared a pitcher of cold lemonade. Wow, look at their house. They did pretty good. <laughs> the end. The cat saying, What is that? The dog says, I have outdoor privileges. Ew. <laughs> Did you like it? In the end, they finally got along, right? It was a good story. I liked it. All right, guys. That's it for this week. Have a restful weekend. Do some things fun. I hope you can get outside, get moving. Um... Next week, we're working on the oi sound. You already know oi, right? So we'll just get uh, some more work in on that. We'll continue to do phonics, all our favorite things. Okay, um, let me know how I, can, how I can help you, how this can be made better for you, okay? I'm still learning, but I'm doing my best. Um, have a great, great weekend. I miss you, and I love you, and I will see you soon. Bye.